Hi everyone and welcome to another video from Danka Praktik. In this video we'll show you how to use a wood burning stove for cooking. As you'll see it's not that complicated at all as long as you know a couple of important things. So stay tuned. Danka Praktik. If you have little or no experience around wood burning stoves it would be good to watch our previous videos where we explain the basics of a wooden stove how it works as well as how to start, maintain and put out a fire. You can also see how to prepare firewood and kindle. If you want to watch the videos, click on the links in the description. Wood burning stoves are not meant just for heating. There is another equally important purpose for it and that is for cooking food. Lots of people buy this kind of stove only for heating purposes, not aware of this fact. With this kind of stove you essentially get a two-in-one package which is a huge advantage. From using one energy source, the fire in this case you can get good heating plus a nice meal. This is very practical and economical especially if you plan on using the stove on a regular basis in the household. You have heating all day long and a non-stop cooking worthy surface at the same time. Besides this you can for instance save a serious amount of money on electricity by not using the electric stove for cooking. As mentioned, cooking on a wood burning stove is almost the same as cooking on an electric stove. The big difference and key factor when cooking is that you have to pay attention to regulating the fire and to some extent how to use the working surface on top of the stove and how to use the oven. The most important factors are regulating the fire. The rule for regulating the fire is simple. More fire equals more and intense cooking. Unlike an electric stove where you turn the knob and you get a constant temperature, on the wood burning stove you have to add firewood and maintain the fire to keep the needed temperature. Three important things to remember on this part. How frequently you add wood, what kind of wood you're using or some other fuel for that matter and how to set the proper airflow. For instance, if you want to fry something quickly, you can add smaller pieces of a drier firewood. This will give an instant burst of heat. Besides this, you can open the air vent or ashtray door and give some more air to the fire and thus more heat. But if you want to cook a stew or soup for instance, at a slower pace, then you'll need a bigger piece of wood that will maintain a lower heat intensity for a longer period of time then you should set the air vent to minimum and close the ashtray door. So again, the needed heat depends on the type of wood you use, how much you add to the fire and in what intervals. More air intake means more fire and heat, less air means less fire and heat. If you don't have much experience on how to start, maintain and put out a fire in a wood burning stove, click on the card in the corner and see our video dedicated specifically to that topic. The working surface is the main and most frequently used part for cooking. It's used much in the same way as you would use the burner on an electric stove. But on this stove, like on many others of this type, the whole surface can be used for cooking. Essentially it's a big one piece burner. A big advantage of this is that you can cook various meals at the same time, move and slide the pots and pans around without losing heat and do all that with just the expense of one fire. Also, during the heating season and as long as you properly maintain the fire, you can start cooking at a moment's notice. The most important thing to remember when using the working surface is to watch your hands since it's always hot. If you're a beginner, it would be good to use some heat resistant gloves until you get the hang of it. As mentioned, the heat on the working surface is regulated by the intensity of the fire. The oven. The other part of the stove used for cooking is the oven. Again, it's used the same way as an electric oven. For monitoring the temperature, most stoves have a temperature gauge installed. In this case, it's located on the glass part of the oven door. Using the oven is simple. Close the oven door and wait until the gauge reaches the needed temperature. In order to achieve this, add firewood accordingly to the temperature you need. After that, put the pot, pan or else inside the oven and cook as long as needed. Once the cooking is finished, 
leave the oven door open and let the excess heat go outside and use it for additional heating. Again, the key to successfully using the oven is properly maintaining the fire. Too much fire and the food will burn, not enough fire and it will stay raw. For the end, one more important tip when cooking on this kind of stove. Be around the stove or in the near vicinity while cooking. Unlike the electric stove, where you have constant equal temperature in a wood-burning stove due to various reasons like different quality of wood, the outside weather, leaving the air vent open or else, can lead to a fire of higher intensity. This can either cause burning of the food or it will be left raw if the fire quickly goes out. This doesn't mean that you have to dwell over the stove while cooking, simply this is the nature of things when using this kind of stove. Even when cooking meals like stews, soups or beans that demand long cooking and with less attention, an occasional oversee is necessary. For the end, all of this may seem complicated at the beginning and may somewhat resemble operating a steam locomotive. But after a few tries, you'll see that it's no more complicated than using the electric stove. Not to mention that the food cooked on these stoves has a fine, special taste. In our next video, we'll show you how to clean and maintain a wood-burning stove. That's it for this time. Please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.